In the last video, we discussed about central dogma of molecular biology. In this video, we are going to discuss about the exceptions to central dogma of molecular biology. According to central dogma of molecular biology, DNA is transcribed to RNA and that is translated to protein. Or the sequence in DNA actually determines the sequence of amino acids in a protein. Now let us see the exceptions. First one is reverse transcription by retroviruses. These viruses has RNA genome like HIV. It possesses an RNA genome. So this RNA should be converted to DNA in order to integrate into the host genome like humans. So there is an enzyme called reverse transcriptase. So this is RNA. This RNA serves as a template for the synthesis of complementary DNA. So the enzyme involved is reverse transcriptase. Then the same enzyme cleaves out this RNA from this DNA or RNA-DNA hybrid by its ribonuclease activity or RNA's activity. Then this single-stranded DNA is converted to double-stranded DNA by the same reverse transcriptase enzyme by its DNA-dependent DNA polymerase activity. So this is against central dogma where DNA is converted to RNA. In retroviruses, the RNA is converted to DNA. The second exception is RNA viruses like coronaviruses, influenza virus, etc. So these viruses don't have this reverse transcriptase enzyme. These viruses are with an RNA genome and this genome codes for an RNA-dependent RNA polymerase, an enzyme that is used to replicate the RNA genome of this virus without the involvement of a DNA or reverse transcriptase. So here RNA is replicating with the help of an RNA-dependent RNA polymerase enzyme of this virus. The third exception is the prions. Prions are proteinaceous infectious particles that causes neurodegenerative diseases like Mott-Cow disease, Crepe disease, CJD disease, etc. So this is protein, prion protein C, cellular, and this is prion protein Crepe SC. So as you see, this is actually the misfolding of this normal cellular protein forming this scrapy protein accumulates and ultimately causing killing of neurons. So these prions can replicate itself without the involvement of RNA or DNA. The next one is the viroid. Viroids are infectious single-stranded circular RNA particles that infects plants. So they are infectious RNAs. So these are also capable of self-replication like this. This RNA can form again other viroids that can cause diseases like potato spindle tuber viroid disease, etc. So RNA is only involved. And the fifth example, there is RNA editing that is involved in almost all organisms. So as you see, one of the examples is alternative splicing. So from DNA and RNA is formed then mRNA is with exons and introns in the case of eukaryotes. By combining different exons, different proteins are made. As you see here, exon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 forming this protein. In this case, 1, 2, 4, 5 forming a related another protein. So from a single DNA sequence, different proteins are made by alternative splicing. We have given a detailed video on this. You can refer that for more. Then there are many RNA editing processes like Within the RNA, there will be some insertion, deletion of nucleotides that lead in changes in the proteins formed from that mRNA. So these are all unlike central dogma of molecular biology. There is no change happening in the DNA sequence. The changes in RNA causes changes in proteins. Then there are many RNA molecules that are not translated to proteins like rRNA and tRNA. Uh, these RNA molecules functions itself as RNAs, unlike central dogma of molecular biology where all the DNA sequences are transcribed and translated to form a protein. So these molecules can function by itself. RRNA is involved in ribosomes of translation. Uh, tRNA is also involved in translation process. And the final one is epigenetic changes. Epigenetic changes means modifications in gene expression without changing the DNA sequence. So as you see, these are two most common epigenetic changes, that is methylation of DNA and acetylation of histones. So DNA methylation, as you see, this is a nucleosome and this is a wrapped DNA. This DNA may be methylated, 
that makes this nucleosome to pack tightly so that transcription factors cannot bind to this DNA, thus stopping the gene expression. So gene expression is regulated without changing the DNA sequence. So such changes are called as epigenetic changes. The second example is histone acetylation. Histone acetylation results in loose packing of nucleosomes so that transcription factors can bind and causing gene expression. So these are called epigenetic changes where there is no change in DNA sequence but there is influencing gene expression without any change in the coded DNA sequence. So these are the exceptions to central dogma of molecular biology proposed by Francis Crick. Hope you are clear. Take care. Stay blessed. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforay.com.